When the light reaches the screen with the two slits, the photons will react with the electrons of the screen. This will collapse the wave particle duality of the light, creating new quantum particles in space and new moments in time. The part of the wave that does not come in contact with the screen will expand in all possible routes, going through both slits. Interference between the waves will cause them to superimpose or cancel each other out. When this wave function comes in contact with the screen, it will collapse, creating moments of time and quantum particles in the shape of an interference pattern. When the observer turns on a detector to determine which slit a photon passes through, the interference pattern collapses. At that moment in time, the interference pattern disappears. Because to observe the photon, we have to physically create a photon-electron coupling. Collapsing each wavefront into a new quantum particle that will have its own position in space and time that the wavefront never had before the collapse. This has nothing to do with consciousness. If we turn the detector off, we remove the photon electron coupling, and in time the interference pattern will reform. Just like in Newton's first law of motion, the interference pattern will continue to maintain its state unless acted upon by an external force. The only problem is the external force can only see one moment of infinity.